what it is, man. Detroit versus everybody, man. Detroit, we rep the hardest, man. We gain the hardest. You know what you know what it is, man. Detroit, CJ, I'll let your boy when we get home. Don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Hell Blaze, at TheHellBlaze.com. 100% all-natural products from lotions, soaps, foot soaks, bath bombs, and much, much more. Use the promo code GOODFELLA1BOXING. Tell them your boy CJ Goodfella sent you. Get 18% off. We out. All right, so Fight High revealed, according to, uh, check out Lawrence Dub, L-Dub Boxing. He sent it to me this morning. Said that Chris Colbert asked them to take down the, uh, the uh, Colbert interview. Colbert asked him to take down the Colbert Wilder interview. Let's talk about it. That subscribe button, bell icon button. Share the video. Appreciate the love, support, and um, you know, people go ride for wild or whatever reason it may be. But they said, and they, I don't know what video this is on, but they said whenever, wherever I can find these free flight tickets, flights, hotels, please let me know. Colbert, I don't know what that what that mean. I don't know what the what the re response was, but uh, wherever I find these free flight fi free flight tickets, flights, hotels, please let me know. Colbert asked us to take down with uh take take that down. Whatever reason only he knows. T.O. Senior also asked us to take it down. Nobody talk about that. Alright, my thing is this. People say, well, we told you Wilder didn't say to why the fuck would he randomly take an, inter an interview down? When he got other ones that's that's saying the same thing about Deontay Wilder. Act, riddle me that. Riddle me that, Batman. Okay. Somebody asked him to take it down. That's what it boy. He didn't have, he didn't willingly take that down. He got other videos talking about the fight and going for Tyson Fury. So why? Did Wilder, did Al, did Al Wilder call Al or Shelly Finkel tell him to take it down? Come on, man. Why? Why talk reckless and talk comfortable? And you see Danny Garcia in the interview was kind of trying to clean it up. Well, you know, uh, Wilder got a great chance to to win. And this day, and, and Danny Garcia sound like a company man. And, and that's my thing about it, man. Because if we got to... if if we asked to tone down, if he asked to tone down the water thing, then why ain't Al came out and made a public apology about, you know, giving, uh, making uh, Anthony Joshua a world champion? Come on. Why didn't he get Wilder the IBF belt and make Wilder and, and, and Charles Martin? And then Lawrence was like, well, I told you all my, oh, nobody a fucking apology. For what? For what? We, we know what happened. He was asking, somebody told him to tell them to take it down. We ain't stupid. That's why they said for whatever reason. He gotta take it down. Why? Why? Why is he taking? Why are you taking the interview down? Somebody tell me that. You know, fuck Wilder. If that's the way he feel, fuck him. If he gonna be, well, and Tay said, well, he never heard of Cobra before. He been saying it. But as soon, but as soon he, as soon as he, as soon as Wilder hear the Cobra interview and become something, automatically he come down. He he got other videos. He got other videos saying the same thing. You know. Well, you know, Wilder, great fighter, but I think Fury gonna get him. He got several videos saying that. And Tay admitted that when Wilder, Wilder had never heard of this before, heard him say this before. And now he heard, heard him say it, it's like, take that shit down. Come on, what you talking about? It's common sense. People people want to rob Wilder. I can't stand this, this nigga fan base. I'm sorry. It's like going back to Floyd Mayweather, Manny Pacquiao, Earl Spence, Canelo Alvarez. I can't stand this fan base. I ain't gonna lie. You know? I can't stand him, man, because he can do no wrong, and I can't stand. And, and everybody gonna have a fan base. You go back, Dion can do nothing wrong. Wayne Gretzky, Michael Jordan could do nothing wrong. Michael Jordan could throw a cup of piss in your face. He couldn't do nothing wrong. So I get it, but Sugar Ray Leonard had a hardcore fan base too. So I get it, but I just the internet make it worse. The internet make it worse. I, I'm, at this point, man, it is what it is, man, but. To me, man, you can't have freedom of speech. Bob Barron will talk bad about any fighter on his roster. And they never say, well, Bob, man, you need to take this down. No. Everybody should have, be able to have their opinion. He should be able to have his opinion. People say, well, they didn't like the manner in which he said it. Shut the fuck up. Everything he said was true except for the Malik, the Malik Scott thing. And that's yet to be seen. And I know trainers that 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 um wasn't that great of fighters and they made were they made world world class and world champion fighters and even some of the greatest fighters of all time so I didn't believe that part but I mean you know everybody gonna be mad and um you know but why did he take the ask the interview to be taken take it down? Nobody answering that question. No nobody answering that question. 
You know what I'm saying? Nobody, nobody gonna, nobody gonna ask the question where, why? Well, he just took it down because to, to take it down. Come on. He took it down because somebody asked him to tell, told him to take it down or asked him to take it down. And then you got Earl Spence. I don't know where Earl Spence responded at. They said Earl Spence responded and he said, you know, something is, you know, he said Earl Spence too flat footed, which Floyd Singer said that. And, um, and I, I don't know. I don't know what the response is, but, but like I said before, man. You can't have an objective opinion about about nobody on PBC. Earl Spencer is flat footed. Floyd Senior is one of the best trainers you'll find around. He said the same thing. He have him on his toes. You know, because he picked Pacquiao, Pacquiao PBC now. I can care less. If I'm not gonna get the bug fight, I don't care. Let's move on. Okay. But a lot of people, a lot of people, a lot of people starting to turn on. So well, you know he did he. He this you 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 a coon because you don't support Deontay Wilder you don't support you don't support that sloppy unorthodox stop style of fighting that don't make you no coon and it don't make you no racist if anything it makes you a boxing pierce because you can't understand how he's getting his knockouts how he getting these knockouts with limited skill and people turn on Cobra probably hope Cobra lose and. Throwing the, throwing the coon word out. Shut up. Shut up. Because as far as people can see it from the outside looking in, that's being objective. Wilder fired the black man and then fired the white guy who watched the hands being wrapped. And the white guy got an earful. I know why. Because the white guy got a lifetime contract with him. Come on. Shelly Finkel brought Mark Breland in. Why ain't Mark Breland and Shelly Finkel both fired? Come on. Mark Breland ain't do shit to that man's shit. This man was breaking camp, chasing that woman, not listening to Mark Breland. You know, it's believing he he can knock anybody else out. He believed that he he believed the hype that everybody seven eight and then oh that was a long count and bringing out time. That's why that white man beat his ass. He's just a better fighter. And if he is taking steroids and the gloves and all that, how you let him dupe you twice? You know, and people get mad and we want to subscribe. You say fuck Wilder. I don't care. I don't care. I'm gonna be objective. You know, I picked Wilder to win the first two fights, but it ain't looking good. <laughs> you know, with Wilder don't like you said this, I don't give a fuck. I'm, I'm going to just speak my truth. If I think he's going to get his ass whooped, I'm going to tell y'all to get his ass whooped. If he lose, he beat, he lose, I'm going to just be objective. If he win, come on, I feel Tyson Fury beat him twice. My opinion. Do I believe the, the excuses? No, I don't have no visual, I don't have no proof. Now, what's the proof? The gloves? His gloves flopped in the first fight. What, 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 else, do, what, what else do we have that, that, that say? What else do we worry about? He was a cheat in the past. So was Luis Ortiz. He fought him twice. Before he fought Tyson Fury once, I believe. What? No, the second time. He fought Luis Ortiz twice for the second fight. So, you know, if people going to get mad at Colbert. If you're if you, if you going to get mad at a guy for having an opinion about one boxer... Don't that sound don't that sound coldish? <laughs> I know that ain't the word. Don't that sound like a cold thing? Anybody say something negative about Wilder, say pick Wilder, oh he's a coon, he he this, he hater, he this. Don't that sound like you in the cult? Don't sound like you want to drink the Jim Jones fucking Kool-Aid. Don't that sound like something that's a cult? Wilder lost, this is a fact. Wilder lost more rounds than any champion I can remember. Fact. Wilder was getting beat by Spilka, Melina. This is a fact. This is a fact. You know, but people don't want to face the facts. He's lost more rounds than any world class, any top contender that I've seen. You see knockout artists like Julian Jackson, he wasn't dropping this many rounds. It's a fact. But you know, people get mad at Cobra for having an opinion. Alright. People are gonna believe Wilder with all the excuses. You know, first it was Breland cheated him because he threw the tile in. Then it was the gloves, and, and Jay Diaz was watching him wrap the gloves probably in both fights. Okay. Um, um, then it was, you know, Jay Diaz came up with the costume issue. You know, then it was something in this water. And people forget George Foreman said the same thing. Damn near. 
parallel to that when he fought Ali over there in Africa, the great continent of Africa. Excuse me. Come on, man. Prove it then. If you can't prove it, it's not a fact. You can insinuate, you can guess, you can, you know, say you know for sure you don't. You don't. But hey, it is what it is. Let me know what you guys think. I'm giving on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. All the links, description, Facebook, Google, there. If you want to reach out to a business question, private sponsorship, video request, want to make a financial donation, cash app, CJ Good 313. Send a description, PayPal link there as well, too. Best of donate, share, share the video. Let me know in the comment section, please. I believe about the. No, I'm on the phone. You on the phone? Yeah, yeah. I'm looking at my baby. No, no. No, I ain't looking at my man. I'm good. You sure? Yeah, I'm good. All right, man. Next time we come outside, don't be staring shit like that. I don't like that. I wasn't looking at him.